DPT. Greetings, comrades. Welcome to a playthrough of the Banner Saga. It's going to be a new one we start today. I have played this before a long, long time ago, um, but I only played it for a little bit. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survive through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. Well, that's not good. Stoic. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. I'd be panicking a bit more if uh, the sun stopped. Subtitles, please. I don't understand that language. So I think this is like a tutorial a little bit. Well, they're making short work of it. Yeah, there's giants and there's weird people. Perhaps in time, the chieftain red and his men are now looking at the tougher fight than they bargained for. Drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue. Let's see, I should say who goes first. Uh, let's see, see you move and then attack. And big guys take up more space. Click the tile you want to move to and click the check mark to confirm. Click on that. So we want to either attack strength or armor. Hmm. So yeah, say we want to. Give them a strength attack, so I'll finish them one. Boom. Take a turn. Yeah, so you did not earn. Uh, okay, so you could use willpower to move it further than you should be able to. Ability. Ah, Tempest. Whoa. Kill them. Village. 
Oh, okay, so I can move twice. Oh, so I can boost my damage. So yeah, there we go. Finished him in one, pow pow. That should hopefully be the tutorial over. My renown grows. Oh, everyone knows who I am. I'm gonna get all those giant ladies. Like a rabbit wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more threats to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly Maybe take my wrong. chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his lust. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. Well, it's not going well. I am in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with Doppelar King's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the brook. Oh, you've got any men left? They're all on the side of your hill. All of a sudden has stopped. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of narration and storytelling going on in this one. Unfortunately, because it's voiced, you'll won't hear too many of my impersonations. Yeah, approached by a man. Eric, steward of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Ruben, isn't it? It is. Uh, I'm going to be quiet. The governor tells me we'll be giving us a hand. He was, uh, what should we go for? Hmm. What did you have in mind? Yeah, your choices in this have like really big repercussions. That's why I stopped playing it last time because I made some poor choices and it really made the game very difficult. There are things that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. I was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. Is anyone left to worry about? I know who can tell us. So yeah, maybe we'll get some fine narration off myself. But this market tent to visit the merchant. Let me handle this. Meander through rows of open space houses and eroded stalls. Coloured canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Hard, I'm not in the mood today. Oh, far lad. Talking to an idiot. The Scarfing chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Had. So when you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk to. They don't talk to me. Um, I don't have the patience for this. That's what's visibly fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Wait, just buy one of these. If everybody thinks I'm getting worked over every week now, I'm supposed to make much. To know much. Just a little food money, yeah? Uh, that's pain. You toss a sliver of silver on the table. Both men look at you with surprise. I'm just as meekly to a variety of junk from the store. Take whatever you like. One thing I'd like is the name of a place. Well, I might like a trinket, you know what I mean? I just paid for it. Not like a little snow globe or something. Nobleman, a baseball, but that was months ago, last I know. Had skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel. Disappearing for a while until this blows over, you forget your bodyguard steps forward. I'll be down here. Gunnar, were you wearing green, black, green back at the hall? No, just caught him while you were walking around. Why? <laughs> you look like a frog. Better than an eggplant. Ugh. Bit forward. Gonna have to look at more stalls. Eric, that man of yours seemed unreliable at best. 
A blind dog wouldn't trust hard, but he used to be a scarfling. If they were licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. No one but a man is a mead hall? Best I can tell, the name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. <sighs> Shouldn't we have an approach of some sort? What a luxury. Come on, you've already mopped up worse today. Just make sure the governor remembers his... Oh, just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tie. I'll remind him. Man, I get confused with, these, but with who's who at some points in games like this. Uh, so is this somewhere I'm supposed to be going? Maid house. You arrive in front of what must be nobleman. A few minutes later, Eric appears. With a weather-beaten man introduces Valgar. I'll point them out, Eric says of his shoulder. Ready? Let's get it over with. Get it done. That's the spirit, says Valgar. Okay, here we go. Our boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eric is already at the head of a table with axe drawn. Wide-eyed, drunken scarfing scramble to buy their own weapons, turning tables and meat steins in the process. Right, fight! Uh, guess I'm ready. So he gets to move first. At least you don't have a wait option. Um, I'm going to move him there. So hopefully they'll... Let's stonewall. Okay, we'll stonewall him. So yeah, then they're moving forward. So... I'm going to move in there. What does Rally do? Uh, sure, let's give it to him. Maybe, I don't know what this does anymore. Right, so now he runs in. I think he should be able to hit him. Maybe. Oh man, I can't attack. Got no ability. I don't know, I can attack him, that's annoying. Um, why can't you attack there? That's stupid. I just turn that turn then. I'm sure he could take some hits, he's got a big old shield. And I might be able to take out two of these guys, I'm not sure. Oh, it'll hit my mate as well. No, let's not do that. How do I go back? There we go. Let's get Hit him. Whap. You're dead. Why did he go down? Bitch, no. Knock me out. It's now moving there. And fight. Uh, I can put extra damage on that, and I will. Because I've got a ton of willpower. Stop attacking my men, my giant men. So he should be able to finish him off. Uh, easily enough, yeah. Oh, I messed that up. I should have moved power. I didn't really, I thought, I thought for some reason he meant he only had one HP. Alright, so let's drop him. The big lad. Why is he only able to do two? That's enough. Does he have an ability? No, he doesn't. Uh, okay. Um, guess it'll be two attacks for him then. Wow. That better went for it then. Thou hast done a great deal of damage to me and my men. So, seven, and he's got six HP, so, bam. Why is he still alive? I'm so confused. Right, drop him. Oh, they really want this guy dead. And we'll power up. So we finish him. I should have gone for armor against some of these guys, but it's kind of hard to tell. How is he not dead yet? Oh, is he now? He must be quite tired, to say the least. Uh, 
So, I guess I'll just have to attack him. He's gonna do a lot more damage now, but deflect. Um, I'll finish this guy off. I th uh, actually, no. Can I kill this guy in one? No. I guess I don't have the full power. I'll just finish him there. Boom. Dead. Well, he, he swapped to the wrong target. Let's get in the way. And chop it. See, he does more damage than he does. Pillage. Right. Time to finish these guys. I'm not going to bother doing too much with him. Move in there. And turn. I wonder if, like, I hope this comes back, like, every battle, because otherwise I'd be making some terrible mistakes. See, he does have quite high armor, but... Never mind. Oh, man. Yeah, just do as much damage to him as you can so you can't finish off my guy. Just in case. But I should be able to kill him now. Boom! And they're all dead. So, yeah, I'm just trying to learn the mechanics a bit more, but that went fine, no one died. Promotion from Gunnulf. And more renown for all those giant ladies. They're gonna get some giant bully. There they are, gods be damned. I've got to go wash off this blood. Eric is looking out the hall's window in, onto the bay. A fleet of longships approach with the sails of old reds and blues. One banner I know well, Ogneer. Next for Val Kinship, last we spoke. The other flag looks important. Yeah, important gift. See what I do with all day long? Ah, uh, things make a little more sense. You hope tired of the stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrive. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure there are no rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the great hall before they come by. Just eat them. Can I ask one more favour? What is it? If you happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and Balagard hustle from the mead house. To his credit, Eric tosses a barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an apol apologetic shrug and go to greet the new arrivals down at the docks. Uh, docks? Bognu? A familiar ball steps onto the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version tramping the halls of Grothbine, abundant in purpose. Gods of wind, you're looking ancient. Comes with being old. And if there is Vognir, there must be Hakon. Must there? Oh, these are voices. <laughs> must blow? <laughs> Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old yoks. At what age do you lose a sense of shame? Jorunda demands it. I'll take that over lingering to death in Grothheim. Speaking of, I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returned from Araberg, in fact. I'm glad for it. I can motion see the ship in the bay, sails still fluttering, golden wolf head emblazoned on red. The king of men, or someone on his behalf. The king's warship. The king's son, Ludan, don't you know, Scrivener? We visit his capital, he visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Hakon has it, I'd almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Hakon. And you're going to Grothheim? I have the distinct feeling I finished my business in Strand and was heading there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day in better circumstances. I drink a week away, but ah, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he's trying to say is the prince is a delight to behold. Where is Mogger, Hakon? Have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading up to meet the governor. A host of giants to part his wake. You recognize a few. Others are strangers to you. Guess I'm off to find Mogger. See you in the morning, Scrivener. I'll be alone. Young Prince of Men ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Ludin looks for all the world, the sort of boy who grew up pulling the legs from spiders. The long road back to Grothheim should be more interesting than most years, you think. That's good. Where he suddenly settles in you, and you chuckle to yourself about one odd day it's been. One of the governors men at the Great Hall can find you a place to sleep. On the other hand, if you're going to join Bogner's caravan tomorrow, it might not hurt to share a drink with Hakon or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. Um, 
Let's go talk to Hakon. Screw the prince. Screw it all. We find Hakon in a mead house, surrounded by other balls. Strand is no stranger to ball, but rarely sees this many. Hakon waved you over. Went straight for a flagon? Mogni is the one who agreed to pass up a drink. I wasn't invited to the governor's hall anyway. You already missed the massacre. Every year I make the rounds collecting taxes. Every year it's the human settlements that give me trouble. No surprise, what's this time? When I got here, the great hall was already full of bodies. We added a few more. <laughs> ah, humans. I guess if only I lived as long as you yoke's part, I might be desperate to make something of myself too. It's not too late to start trying, Hakon. Hakon let slip a little chuckle. Any ball can really count his deeds. No one as he has been put his way through Dredge at Bognir's side in a second more. And regularly since then. Down here, I'm a glorified bodyguard. You might have a point. Just another reason to get back to Grofheim. Soon enough, I imagine. You drink till the mean house becomes overbearing, then step back into the cool air outside. Job's done. And I guess we'll talk to the prince. Is this the right place? You can find the prince at an inn. Guards blanket the building, including sharp eyed bars who must be working for Ludin. A woman in red eventually waves you over and stands nearby, arms crossed. Greetings, Prince Ludin. Yes, you're with Vogner. I don't remember you. Not exactly. I've known Vogner a long time. I'll be joining you back to Grofheim with my guards. Ludin looks up for the first time. The woman doesn't react. Why? I work for the king, carrying ties to the capital. We cross by chance. Oh, a tax collector. Fine company. What do you want? Uh, let's just... Introduce ourselves. You collect taxes for the Val territories. A true pleasure. Yes. An awkwardness hangs in the air like a thick fog. You take the opportunity to depart. Right. Now we've done all the introductions and stuff. I think we shall leave it there and pick it up next time. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later.